What is up you guys? You're watching Sergio's Secret. Before I get started with today's gay video, I'll leave everything that I'm wearing linked down below. I've been a little obsessed with this top ever since I purchased it, so I think it was a really great purchase. Today we are at the Houston Galleria. I wanna, so if you saw my Christmas wish list, and if you haven't, I'm gonna take my glasses off. I feel like that's kind of inappropriate. I want for Christmas video. I said that I had a lot of jewelry missing, and I wanted to, I want to rebuy my Lago Pearl earrings. And so I think that's what I'm gonna buy right now. And then I want to go through Saks and maybe buy like a shirt or something and kind of like uh, just fit, hit the vibe and hit the fantasy. Um, and I kind of just wanted to take you guys along. And yeah, let's go ahead and fill the fantasy. I may eat here, I may eat with my friend. I'm not really sure girlies, but you guys are gonna come with me and just do, you know, just out and about and browsing. So come along with me and we're gonna see what the tea is, baby. It's it's fairly busy, but it's also Saturday and it's getting closer to the holiday season and we are in November So let's go ahead and get my little gay earrings seen and that just happened to be um, one of the items that was missing so um, I'm just happy to uh, replace it Where are you Lagos? I'm missing the necklace and then I'm also missing the Blake Lariat too. Oh my god, so this Nordstrom got a hard in shop from Troy Birch and it literally looks like El Palacio de Hierro, it looks like Harrods, like it looks so well, it is so pretty, it literally looks like a store. So when I was going to do my collaboration with Farfetch, I was actually going to get this one and I thought it looked too small but it's actually not that small as I thought, it's small but it's like a good size small. And I like that the hardware is still the same size, but this one's super, super cute. I definitely do want to add another Eleanor, but probably one with this chain, because I think the chain on this one um, is really, really um, detailed well. Okay, so I kind of hate the strap on it, but I like it as more as a top handle bag. And I like that it has a little T right here. But see, I don't really like that at all. So this one has a little d-ring that you can actually put something on here just a thought i personally wouldn't do it but it is kind of cute though i'm not gonna sit here lying the new eleanor's have an adjuster versus mine doesn't and it has holes i personally like it without the adjusters or without anything because it looks a lot more cleaner and I like to carry it like that. So whenever you carry it, it kind of like, sh it kind of um, shows it, but I'll kind of show it as a comparison. But this one, it has all these adjusters and I don't personally like it. I don't know. I mean, it's not that I don't like it. I prefer my original version just because I don't really like all the little holes on them. I mean, I know it's more versatile, but I personally prefer it without it. The more cleaner and more simpler, the better in my opinion. But I still love the Eleanor though. I'm not a big maroon person, but I'm kind of digging this maroon Isabel Baron cap. Super, super cute. And oh my god, look at this crystal one. That's really pretty. And I have that. Little gay Burberry hat. It's a little messy. A little messy, messy, but it's cute though. In person, it's actually really pretty. I mean, I know this is going to get stained, but it's really pretty. And I also really like this boot. I like the little thick blood sole on it. And then I also like these ones. This is something my mom would wear. I think she has like a version of it from a couple of years back. But I do like this trade version. Okay, so I have this one in my wish list. The one that I had, and I didn't even know that this existed, was the original one. The little Lee boot. But I actually kind of like the take on the chunkier sole a little bit better. Because um, it looks a lot more my style. So um, I'm definitely going to be getting that one. That And that so. I was a little worried about this one, but I prefer this one a lot more. It's more of my style with the chunkier sole. And I also like that cloud miller in that color right there too. Oh my god, it is like super packed. Now the holiday seasons are approaching very, 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 very soon. Now we're at Saks Fifth Avenue. Oh my god, wedding dress. She looks really pretty. I don't know what I want. I kind of want to buy like a shirt or something. Or another pair of jeans. Miss Fendi, Miss Fendi girl, where are you? There's not a lot of Fendi though. This is adorable. Super cute. 
I'm gonna do an outfit of the day. So the top is from the row. Um, hat is Gucci. Um, Tory Burch Eleanor. Um, and jeans are A Goldie. And then my shoes are Gucci. And then I just bought my Lago Pro earrings. Okay, Simon Miller over here. I love this little rib moment. Chloe, Miss Thing, Miss Marcy, and I love this shoe. I already see it. Not for me. I do love those Chloe outfits though. Not a big ready to wear fan for Chloe. Pero eso sí está bonito para que miran. Eso sí está bonito. This is kind of cute, but the Chloe kind of killed it all around. So Chloe Marcy it had a price increase. It used to be $19.90 and now it's $2,090. Um, but I still think that the Chloe is a classic handbag that honestly you can never um, go wrong with. They have a D.O. Uh, disgusting Dolce Gabbana boutique. Disgusting. And here we are, kind of Ganny, like stuff like this was like kind of like up my alley, which is what I was trying to look for. Hideous. Ganny can be very much hit or miss. It's either super cute or ugly. No in between. They're doing the little gay holiday, this little gay reflective moment. But that's, it's so pretty. I do like sacks. I wish we still had sacks in Dallas, but we don't. Neiman Marcus dominates the market. I wanted a Montclair beanie, but it was, it didn't show that they had it in store. I already have this one. These are cute. These are like little like gift givers. These ones, when I worked in accessories, these ones would sell like nobody's business. It would just be such an easy sell because it, I mean, everybody needs a beanie, everybody gets cold. So it's always uh, kind of like a yes item to always uh, gift. Play Birch ready to wear. Like this is everything. I love this print. It's $300, but there's like a one that's like super stretchy. This is more of a silky material. This one with the little belt detail. I like the cardigan too. It's nice and really great quality. And I like that they kind of changed it a little bit. And this is 328. I'm not a big fan of the silky with the with the long sleeves of cotton or like a blend. I've never been a big fan of those. These ones is beautiful with the buttons. Oh, super cute. I love the sweater too. The sweater is phenomenally beautiful. And then I like the little jacket too. I do like Trey Birch Ready to wear. I don't see myself in a lot of it. But like I said, I can always appreciate things from a distance in front of you. But... Ooh, this one's really, this is something my mom would wear. This is really pretty. I see my mom in a lot of Troy Birch ready to wear. She's somebody that can pull it off quite well. Not something I could pull off for most pieces. And they have Camila. They opened a Camila in Dallas. They have actually nice clothing. I actually didn't know what it was until they opened one in Dallas. <clears throat> this is super cute. Here's one of my favorite denim brands, A Goldie. I never actually get to show you guys. Um, I like these ones because they have like no stretch. Um, A Goldie, I tend to either get a 26 or 27. The last one that I got 27 and it stretched out quite a bit. And so I tend to get, they tend to get a 26 or 27. But even the 27, you could tell it just looks a little bit. I'm not a skinny at all, but you could tell that it's a little too, it's a little bit too big. These are really cute. I just live in my A Goldie jeans. Like, literally, that's the denim that I wear the most. I used to buy like a lot of other brands, but that's like the one that I like to um, wear the most. But I really don't like denim that um, stretches a lot. <coughs> Even for A Goldie, um, it's not something that I like to purchase a lot of these ones. This, a white t shirt loafers, sneakers, and you're literally out the door. Something very nice and easy to dress up. And they're kind of getting ready for holiday here too. But I, I'm always, always down for a beautiful denim, especially from A Goldie, for sure. 
um, like Mother and like all the other brands that I do like, like Rag and Bone, I think they're all great denim. But honestly, let's be honest, girl, go right across the street to North Turmeric. Let's be honest. Um, Agody doesn't really go on sale like that. And so that's why I don't mind paying full price. I'm very frugal and savvy. You guys know that. But um, some Versace Jean Couture in the house. I like this one the most out of all the ones in this rack. Very narco, Jenny 69. Soy la 69. Soy la beep que salió de Riverside. All my Hispanic people, um, that's the joke. Love Shack Fancy. I would wear Love Shack Fancy. I think it's Love Shack Fancy so pretty. Uh, I love Love Shack Fancy. In another lifetime, I would be wearing nothing but Love Shack Fancy. This is cute. Oh, it's Good American. Oh, I don't know if they carried Good American here. It's Generation Love, but I guess it's Good American. This is super cute. Not gonna lie to you guys. And then they have Electric and Rose. I do have one of their sweatpants that I got when I was in um, at North Rock a couple of months back. And they have some activewear. I do really like this denim though. Mousy, I did like mousy jeans. I think I still have my pair somewhere, allegedly. But I do like mousy. Hmm, Ligons is not my fave. But nothing really caught my eye. I kind of already knew I was gonna buy a pair of denim. But I do love Saks. Saks has a lot of things. This is really pretty by Mother, though, I will say. This is so cute. It's $400. Look how beautiful it is. So I tried the jeans on. These are the ones that I have, 26. I re it's because last time I came back from Mexico, I think. Um, was I going to Mexico? I don't remember, but I, last time I was here in Saks, I tried these ones on, but they were a little too tight. These are 26 and me quedan perfecto. Like, they fit absolutely well. I actually really like them. This, a white bodysuit girl, um, a little, uh, blazer girl, like, typical Sergio outfit, and uh, I just love them. Um, but I ended up getting a 27 in another pair that I bought, and now they're, like, really loose, and I don't really want to wear them. When it comes to jeans, everything else me vale. But I will say with my pants and trousers, I'm very, very particular in what I like. And these are so cute. Este sí están bonitos. Sí, I already knew what I wanted. And I was going to ask about my Gucci loafers. As you can see, they've been resold, girl. They've done been through the gigs the last couple years, girl. Worth every penny. And they go well with my Eleanor. Miss things. And then... Um, I did get the earring set. I may actually wear the set today. So now I have I now I have my set back. I have my necklace, which I had to begin with, and then I lost the earrings, but I just repurchased them. So I have my earrings and the necklace. I probably would wear this. I'll probably wear a white over two bodysuit. And then I'll probably wear that green over two blazer. And then and then probably no hat. And then I'll probably end up wearing like my uh Chanel trainers and that's kind of like my outfit of the day but i love them they f and i love them they fit phenomenally well they're cute because they're like baggy but they're not like super baggy like they're perfect and then these are the style of them if i'll leave like i said i always leave everything linked down below but that's the style of them girl and put them in the hanger because they finna go in my closet um but yes miss sling back and yes guys i do carry it like this because it's signed by the one, the only, Miss Tori. So, obviously, you know, I have to um, wear it like this. My mom calls me ridiculous because I do that. I'm like, girl, this is cute. This is even cuter. Ooh, okay. The Montclair coats. I think they're just classic and core. You can never go wrong with them. So, I'm happy because I ended up knocking down a wish list item. Well, a Christmas gift, the earrings. It's something that I wanted to replace. The Lana jewelry, I don't think I'm gonna replace it, to be honest. I don't miss it as much. For me, if something goes missing, I have to like love it. You know what I mean? I have to like love, 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 love it for me to pre-purchase it. The earrings I love and it was part of a matching set. So obviously I'm always going to want to have the sets. I'm very much a set type of girl. Okay, Balmain, Balmain. 
Let's see how this fabric feels. Oh, it's like metallic -y. I thought it was gonna be very stiff, but it's kind of like a sweatery material. And I like, I don't know, I don't really like this one with the beams on them. I think it looks better when it was more kind of like that heritage button detail, and I don't like this kind of circle. It's a really pretty color though. I just don't like the buttons. I don't like these at all. Oh, but it's exclusively for socks, so maybe it's an exception. This is cute. Well, mine's very simple. I don't know how I feel about the little monogram collection. Not my cup of tea. Ethro, Ethro is very old money in my opinion. It's very elegant, but definitely for an acquired taste. These with the pearls, baby. With some Mikimoto pearls, fire. It gives me kind of like Roberto Cavalli vibes, but I prefer Ethro or Ethro. Blueberry, as my dad says. My dad doesn't say Burberry, he says Blueberry, and he does it to be funny. I remember this one went on sale when I worked at Nordstrom for 60. I love this cap every time I see it. I always want to pick it up. It is absolutely adorable. Um, bucket hat. I tried to get into it, but even like the extra large looks a little awkward, awkward on me. Um, the Toy Birch one was my first time trying it on, and I'm, I'm actually surprised that it actually fit pretty well. Um, I don't know if I would ever wear like a set like this, but you, you do, you girl. I would wear this beautiful rain jacket though. And then I think I saw Lori Harvey take like a picture in one of these like a couple months back. But I would wear this one totally. I don't know, I love the color blue. I love the handbag, the Olympia bag, purr. I love it. I used to not be a big fan. Oh no, it wasn't that color. It was this colorway. That's the one that I liked a little bit more. I thought it was super cute. I think this was here last time. Very couture, very fancy. $8,500. I used, I remember I wanted one of these so bad when I worked at Nordstrom. I'm so glad that I never bought it. This gives me Victoria's Secret pink vibes when I worked there. Another shocket, baby. Somebody can give me this for Christmas. This is super cute. And I do like this one too. And then we have a little game back tomorrow. Miss Teddy Co. Classic Elegante. I think this is St. John. I found that St. John doesn't really, isn't as popular as it once was. And then some Michael Kors collection. Well, St. Michael Kors does do pretty good um, ready to wear in his collection. I mean, I like Michael Kors in general, but his clothing is really pretty. This is 10 racks. Beautiful dress. Ten rocks. This sweater is really pretty, sleepless. A classic uh, Michael Kors blazer. The beautiful button. I've never been a big fan of ruching blazers. I've never really liked that look. Even if I ruched it myself, this is really pretty too. Two rocks. That's cute. I wouldn't wear that myself. Michael Kors does do pretty good. Oh my god, Teddy coat. That's a coat that I would eventually like to get. And then we have some Acris Punto and some Lafayette and some Ralph Lauren. I'm not a big Ralph Lauren fan. Oh, they have some Victoria Beckham ready to wear. I think it's just like, oh, they actually have a good amount. Super cute. Say what you want, but I actually do really like um, Victoria Beckham. When I was working at Nordstrom, oh, this is so cute. Look at this. Super cute. And then I love this. Victoria Beckham. It kind of looks like Veronica Beard, VB. Chi. Not a big fan of this print. I'm really not a big fan of it. Not even Megan the Stallion can make me like it. Because she took a picture of the full in the red outfit. Oh, Sergio. They have my own collection here. Um, not even. Um, I don't really like the tag. It's giving me vintage tag vibes. And then Balenciaga, and then my favorite brand in the entire world, we already know what it is, it's The Row. 
and this is the shirt that i bought through nordstrom it was like 60 percent off and they ended up sending me like i don't know like a lucky brand shirt it was like this but it was a striped Ugh, i would kill to have a blue shirt like this from the row absolutely stunning just everything from the row i love like these pants oh my god i don't know some people don't see the value in the row i'm very simple i'd much rather wear the row than balenciaga or the Dolce Gabbana, or then even Burberry, like any brand. If I were to wear one brand for ready to wear for the rest of my life, if I have to choose for a designer category, it would honestly be the row. I feel like I'm not in the state where I really like Brunello Cuccinelli or like some of the other brands. I'm, I love the row. I feel like I can wear it now and I can wear it 10 years from now, like this sweater. It just, you can put a, a, a button up underneath it you can put a long sleeve underneath it you can wear it solo like i am and you can do so much with it i just oh look some book tool it's a sex with avenue club alexander mcqueen i think this wasn't here last time i don't think this was here last time i just made us oh this fitting room like this fantasy get into this fantasy oh okay furniture I do love McQueen. I think they took a Laya out. There was a Laya ready to work here last time, and it's not here anymore. And then here is Christian the old subscriber. Her name is Keisha, so shout out to her. Very sweet and super nice. I, I love it when my little subscriber family uh, always comes up to me, always warms my heart. Even like now, like uh, I have like my AirPods on and stuff. Girl, approach me, girl. Uh, like you can always say hi, even if like I look like I'm busy. Um, chances are probably not. So you can just always kind of say hi, because why not? I'm literally the nicest. I'm actually a little awkward. I start sweating and stuff, but I was pretty, pretty chill. I just do not like this bag at all. I do not like it. Is it okay? Yes, thank you. I don't know if you need help. Okay, thank you so much. This Olympia bag, I love. Uh, I would want to add one into my collection, but probably like a funky style that still goes with everything. The pocketbook I do like, but I wouldn't prioritize it. The Olympia is probably the one bag from Burberry as of their current lineup that I would get next. That one. And I uh, love Burberry hats. And then they have some eyewear. Obviously, Oliver People, one of my favorite brands of eyewear. I saw somebody have these on. I'm going to try them on. Mm, I don't really like them. But nothing competes my Prada glasses. Those are the ones that I love. And the fact that I'm going to get them in... Well, I already have them in two colors, and I want them in another color. But honestly, I kind of grew out of, of the whole CC, like the Chanel right now. I think it's a little bit too much. That's why I've always been more into Celine, Tom Ford, and all of her people. The Prada one, yes, it does have Prada, but... I don't know. I think that's an exception. Vanity glasses. I like those, but I just metals with the nose pieces. I'm very hard on them. And I would kill if something were to happen. I've never damaged any glasses, thank God. But I don't know. I don't really like the, the pieces on them. Ooh, these are really pretty. Um, these are your glasses. But yeah, I also like Saint Laurent eyewear. I'm not gonna sit here and lie. I like these ones with the flat lens. These are really pretty. These ones are called the Sari. And I hate that the sensors are here because it would scratch the lens. As you can see, there's already a little bit of scratches on the lens. Um, and it kind of altered them. Oh, these Jimmy Choo's are really pretty right there. I wanna add a baby Eleanor. Now that I kind of been seeing them all through today, I've been kind of wanna add an Eleanor, but I wanna get my leaf first. I think the leaf's the one that I wanna prioritize. I don't like cork shoes. I don't. These are really pretty. A little holiday moment. Those are cute too. I just hate cork. But these Jessa ones, fire. These boots still haunt me. I still want to make these boots work. I love them. They are everything plus more. The other sho shoes from the row, they're a little too delicate for my tasting. But these Hailey Bieber boots from the row, I absolutely love. These ones are cute too, but I wouldn't pay $7.90 for them. I'd rather get the boots, even though they're like twice amount of money. These are the most fugly shoes I've ever seen in my entire life, a pointed sneaker. Those are cute, these shoes. 
I'm not a big fan of those. I always see people have them. I don't really care for them. These are so cute with a little C turn lock. That's adorable. I do like these too. Reflective Fantasy, 1,100. These used to be 950. Price increases. I do like snowshoes, except for my dad's sandals. I like the burgundy on this one. I'm not a big burgundy fan, but I do like that one. Oh my god, this bubblegum pink. I just met another subscriber. Oh my god, you guys are the sweetest. I feel like right now it's just a little awkward. So if you're watching, sorry I was a little awkward. Um, I don't know. I was like a, a little awkward. I still don't like this bag. I'm sorry. I don't like this bag either. I like the story, but I think it's a little bit too boxy as like that size. And I don't mind this one. But yes. Oh, this is cute. These are definitely gonna date really bad. I'm not a big fan of them. But this little Faye one, I do love. But yes, that was like a little awkward. Back to my Sonoma McCartney with a thicker chain. I love them. Gives me like Chanel 19 vibes with the different colors like of the chain, but I think it's a really pretty bag. Definitely an elevation of the classic Falabella from Sonoma McCartney, if you ask me. Little Sharpie one is cute. I do like that. I've just been into like Sharpie bee bags. I'm not big into Sherpa bags a lot, like in the past, but I think because they've been so, so, so popular, I kind of started liking them. I do like the hourglass bag. I just wouldn't get it myself. And then I prefer the classic city bags um, versus these new, newer updated styles. And then I used to have this one back in the day when I had 33 at Nordstrom. And I can't believe I ever bought it because I did, I sold it like a couple, like less than a month in when I originally bought it. Not a big fan of it at all. This one is cute with the crystals. I will say that, but mm, not my fave. I'm sorry, sorry. I just don't really care for Balenciaga handbags, other than the classic city bag. New Valentino bags that I've been seeing all around social media. I love them. I think this is super cute. This one gives me Chanel 19 vibes. I love this. If I had a lot of money, well, if I was, if I had a lot of disposable income, let me rephrase that, I would get this in a heartbeat. Super, super cute. Like, I am in love with the Valentino giant rock sets. I know a lot of people don't like rock sets or they think they're out of fashion. I think they're a classic and I personally love, I'm here for the big jumbo um, Valentino rock set movie. I do also like the traditional one, but I just like how it's like an, a, a different play and a different take on it. But I've always been a big fan of Valentino rock sets in general. The only bags that I can get away from are these, these Atelier bags. I'm sorry, I think they're the most fugliest, ugliest things I've ever seen. I just do not like them at all. And then these ones that say Atelier Valentino, I'm also not a big fan of them at all. I don't like them at all. Um, I like Givenchy, very clean, simple, um, edginess, should I say. I don't like how the handle's super long on that one. It's cute in the runway, but it's not practical in person. And then same for these bags. When I worked at Nordstrom, Nordstrom bought heavy into these bags. And we have yet, I have yet to even, I didn't even sell them. None of my coworkers ever sold one. They're all still there. I love these Tweety ones, fabric yeah. ones. But I just think in my part of my collection, I think um, I'll have to go it up a little bit more before I would get this in a designer. In contemporary, I'll do it surely, but not in designer. It's way too delicate. Probably my favorite handbag that they have here at this Saks um, single lot is this one. Super, super cute. Thirty-three fifty, but it is everything. Like, absolutely everything. Like, 10 out of 10 chef's kiss. Okay, we'll say do you like this Montclair red? Super cute. It's Montclair season. It's like literally right around the corner and it's happening as we're speaking. Oh my God, there's so many people in the men's shoes. I got like a little bit of an anxiety attack, but usually there's always so many people in men's shoes because people come in, in groups and clicks. This is ugly. I do not like this at all. Like, I don't know. Sometimes I feel like the Givenchy, yes, you could say, well, Burberry does the same thing with the plaid. I just, it just says Givenchy and like, in a weird way and it's just like you depend on um the branding on it like just say Givenchy now this I would buy for sure 11.50 I would do it super cute and I would get the swimming shirts too like this is a good outfit but I love this shirt 10 out of 10 I love it I would add, I'm gonna add that one in 
that's an item that I would definitely get. But yeah, I was like, I always forget that in sex men's. It's weird because at Neiman's it's not like that, but also the Neiman's here for men's isn't the best selection. I would say um, Saks Fifth Avenue has more of the priority when it comes to a little bit more things. I, I, and I prefer to shop at Saks and Neiman's in, in the Houston Galleria, if you ask me. It is definitely very congested here. There's so many people, but it's also Saturday and I used to work and I used to be inside Nordstrom, obviously. So I would never really come out to the mall. And so it's kind of giving me like the first experience because usually I go shopping in La Semana. But right now I'm kind of getting like that fantasy of going out like on a weekend. <sighs> so chaotic. But I know that the Houston Gallery in general um, tends to be pretty busy. Here are more of the other prestige stores. This is the side of Neiman's. The Neiman's side does have all, most of the designer stores versus Saks doesn't really have a lot. So there's a Laura Piana, there's a Valentino, there's a Chanel Boutique, and then there's also Chanel Boutique inside um, Neiman Marcus. And then there's a Tiffany Boutique, there's a Fendi. The Fendi first, I could never wait in line. I hate waiting in line. That's like my biggest pet peeve. Sergio does not wait in line. I'd rather just not buy it or order online. I hate to wait in line. Jimmy Choo, I want to. Yeah, but most of the stores are here. I met a couple of you guys today, actually. Uh, super sweet, super nice. It's always very like, ah, like, oh my God, like people actually watch my videos and like people comment and people you know there you, when you put a face to face you know a comment you see it you reply to it or you acknowledge it but to actually have somebody face to face um it's like every, it gets me every single time i will say i don't sweat as much as i used to i used to sweat and go absolutely crazy uh like sweat like a dog i don't do that as much as i once did drive by here so you can see some of the other stores but i go across the street from the houston galleria there is a beautiful Brunello Cuccinelli, and there are so many um, luxury designer stores here. Oh my god, what are we doing? There's a Harriet Winston. Um, there is a Canali, which is men's suiting. I, I think they only do men's. There's an Oliver People Boutique. Um, that one, I always forget the name of it, but we don't have that one in Dallas. Um, so many beautiful stores. There's a Rolex coming. Um, here is the Hermes store. So this is the uh, point of distribution for Hermes here in Houston. This beautiful Dior boutique. Um, it is absolutely beautiful. Usually um, there's like more lighting, but it's so stunning. And then here we have Cartier. Oh, look at that lovely lady with her um, Paloma tote by Christian Louboutin. Beautiful. There is Dior. Oh. Joe Malone. There's a Van Cleef here. Um, there is a John Hart. And here's where all the little restaurants are and where people can like sit down and eat. Since my car accident with my Uber driver, um, my Uber driver got in a car accident if you didn't know before I went to Boston a couple, like a month or two ago. And um, I have like really bad anxiety, not anxiety, pero me pongo mi intenso manejando. Um, there is a Veronica Beard store here. Yeah, Veronica Beard is right there. That's that store, there's a Bonobos and then the one that sells like that expensive swimwear. Um, I have a pair that I got at their outlet when I was in LA. Oh, there's um, a Montclair store here too. Oh, there's one in the Houston Galleria too. So there's two, um, this disgusting brand. Um, disgusting. Sorry, my windshield's a little dirty. Very affluent dinner, as it looks like. Pretty. <clears throat> and then there's a Patek Philippe. There's a Diptyque Boutique. Um, there's a Kitan. I don't even think Dallas, no, Dallas does not have one. There is a NARS boutique as well. There's an intermix. We don't have an intermix in Dallas. 
Vance, Koss, and then here goes Ethro, Ethro, and it is um, a beautiful store. It's the first store you see. Beautiful. Bon voila. Ethro. It's a gorgeous boutique. And then the Bunello Cuccinelli, obviously, it's the first one and it never disappoints. I do, I, so I love. Hi guys, um, before I upload the video, I did kind of want to stop and say what's happening with the jewelry because I know when I posted it on Instagram, I had gotten like a lot of questions about it. So I'm going to like reiterate it here as well, or just repeat it. So just in case if you don't follow me on Instagram, which I highly suggest you do. So basically what happened is I know like I've said it before, like it went missing. I didn't really want to go into details because I didn't really want to put like bad energy out there. I didn't want to like have to repeat it and you know, I didn't want the bad vibes, but I'll just say it just so you guys know. Back in Dallas, I had like a little get together after like the bars and obviously it was me and my friends, but some of my friends had other friends and normally I don't like to do that. I only like to bring the people that I come with and on the counters, you guys know if you saw like my apartment tour, Obviously my apartment was really small, so, you know, especially me, I do so many outfit changes, videos, whatever I have to get done, um, packages, returns, whatever. I always leave so much stuff in the counter, bags, glasses, shoes, jewelry, and I just happen to have like a ball of jewelry, like my lot of necklaces and a bunch of other little jewelry. And so what ended up happening is there's like a camera on top right there. And the thing is you couldn't really see it. And so apparently somebody ended up grabbing the ball while I went to the balcony and put it in their pocket and then acted like it was nothing. And since obviously, since I had so much stuff, I was like enjoying in the moment, I didn't really realize that they took it. And so long story short, I never got to have any of the items back, um, but I did kind of confront the person and I took care of it in a certain sense, but um, that's what did happen. It was a big learning lesson for me. I'm glad that it wasn't something like crazy or excessive. But I did learn a learning lesson, so just be care, just be aware of your surrounding guys. I just kind of wanted to say that, and I wanted to clarify that. But I do love the jeans that I got from Saks. I ended up wearing them last night, and then I also um, was wearing the earrings last night, and I love everything. And there's also um, Farfetch is doing 22% off a lot of like regular price items that typically don't go on sale, like at Saks and Neiman's and Nordstrom. So um, I'll leave a link down below and I'll put, um, I'll leave a link down below and there's a lot of great stuff. So I highly suggest you check it out. And I have uh, the discount code down below as well in the description box. I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching this gay homosexual video. I'll see you guys on the next one. And yeah, los quiero, los quiero, los quiero mucho con todo mi corazón. Bye guys.